Hey guys, we are here at the South Padre Island Birding and Nature Center. And alligator rescue. And it's been a really cool day here. Um, you can see them feed a giant alligator. What's his name? Big Padre, he's 12 foot six. And he lives with his girlfriend. I don't know her name. So from above in this tower that we climbed up here, we were able to see the two of them doing a little wrestling. Yeah, I'm not sure what they were doing. But, yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look. The South Padre Island Birding and Nature Center added alligator rescue to its name in 2019. If you're interested in the natural part of this island, you're going to want to visit here. It's a premier spot for bird watching at the southern tip of the Great Texas Coastal Birding Trail. It's also a beautiful and educational opportunity to check out native wildlife including rescued giant sulcata tortoises, snakes, alligators, and more. This is the South Padre Bird Sanctuary, and they have some rescue animals that live here. Right there, that's where the Sea Turtles Inc. is. So they're right next door to each other. They're using some of the same natural waters here. So they've also got an alligator collection here, which we just saw some of the babies. Don't wanna fall down there. Walking out over the boardwalk at the center is a great way to begin to understand nature's balance here on the island and to see the different plant life and how it relates to what lives amongst it. It's fish skipping on the water, keep jumping out. It's very shallow. The herons and the egrets. We saw a giant heron out there. Oh, there's another one right here. Look how tall he is. He's like as tall as me. Look at that. Can you take a picture with your phone? The afternoon alligator program started with a presentation inside where we met a baby gator and learned about nuisance gators and their need for this sanctuary. Just give you a little bit of idea, uh, if you don't already know, uh, this is kind of a two-part show. Uh, so part one, we're going to talk to you up, uh, up here a little bit, hopefully teach you some stuff about alligators you didn't know before. Uh, part two, we are going to send you down around Big Padre's Pond. Uh, we'll kind of talk about him a little bit, why he's here, um, and his whole story. Uh, I'm not making big promises, because it's hard to tell an 800-pound animal what you want him to do, uh, but we will bring food out there for him as well, so we'll see. He might feel like showing up. We provide a home to alligators that, for one reason or another, cannot be in the wild anymore. Uh, so that's either because they've gone through something traumatic and just wouldn't be able to survive, uh, but more often than not, uh, we provide a home to nuisance alligators. And the easiest way to explain what that means, a nuisance alligator, is if we can kind of wrap our minds around the fact that a wild alligator, under normal conditions, wants absolutely nothing to do with you. So they actively avoid people. Uh, if you are out there doing whatever you're doing and you come across a wild alligator, it is always going to do one of three things. Either option one, you know, sit as still as you possibly can and pray to God that you don't see it. Um, option two is going to get under the water and get lost. Or if you happen to catch them on a day they feel particularly confident or if they feel like they're uh, cornered or something, you may actually see them pop their backs out of the water. 
So when you see them puff their back out of the water, <laughs> they're letting you know they're there, <laughs> all right? They'd like you to have an idea. Uh, hopefully, y'all can avoid each other. Wild alligators stay wild alligators. I'm never gonna bring a wild animal into a facility like this just to put on display for people. Let them go be wild animals, you know what I mean? Um, so if they've been fed, they'll come here. If not, we work with Texas Parks and Wildlife. Generally, they have us release the, the non-nuisance alligators in Laguna Atascosa. Um, we're talking micro changes in water pressure, right? That makes them hypersensitive to vibration. So we just saw the alligator presentation and learned a whole bunch about alligators, especially the ones that live out along the Texas coast. And now they said they hope that he'll eat. They're going to come down and try to feed Big Padre. He is taking his shoes off. Rolling his pants up. I'm pretty sure he's feeding him chicken, but I don't know. <laughs> right? <laughs> all right, John, welcome to part two. Y'all can hear me all right? Yeah. Good deal. All right. We'll see uh, what kind of mood he's in today. You didn't happen to see him when you walked up, did you? No. Uh, so it doesn't take a whole lot of water to hide a very big alligator, although he does have himself several, uh, several areas that he's dug out deeper. A real deep spot over there where the bubbles just came up. Uh, um, and he's actually got another one over here. He's actually got a den that goes underground a little bit. Uh, alligators dig like moles. A lot of people don't realize that. Uh, I joke around, you put them in a one acre pond, put an alligator in there, and give it a couple years, you're going to have a two acre pond. Now, yeah, him or his little girlfriend? Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Laguna all, uh, over there. Y'all say hi to Laguna. Man, so she's 7 foot 11, he's 12 foot 6. Uh, we'll snack them like this once or twice a day as we do these feeding shows. Oh! Hey, y'all say hi to Big Padre! Hi, Big Padre. Alright, he's a big boy. Let's see it's what huge. Kind of with that Did he just make that noise? Whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh, boy. oh my god. Oh. 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 You better have a car dropped on your hand, you're starting to get into that ballpark. Come on, big guy. Don't worry, they, got, they ain't got nothing to do. Oh, he just puffed up his back. Come on. Good boy. Oh. Yeah. Wow. He's about 12 foot 6, right? He's about 800 pounds. He's about 56 years old. He's getting up there. A wild alligator 50 to 70 is not unheard of. Come on. Uh, not reaching that far. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it doesn't get old, y'all. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, wild alligator 50 to 70 is getting up there. That's a pretty old alligator. They can live longer than that. And captivity does them a lot of favors as well when they're not fighting with other alligators and whatnot. Uh, our oldest lives up at Gator Country in Beaumont. His name is Big Al. He turned 92 last year. Oh. Idea, so very long lived animals. Now, Padre's story he was caught in Port Arthur near a cleaning station. So it was the fishermen coming in every day, cleaning their catch, shoveling all their scraps in his mouth. Guess what? The fishing slowed down. Guess who had a problem with that? The fishing. It's a 12 and a half foot alligator today. Yeah. So uh, some, one day some guy pulls his boat in the slip, does a big old bump, turns around and the has got his head on the back of his boat trying to climb aboard. <gasps> oh, Needless my. to say, at that point he needed to be removed. And lucky for Padre, he got to come live in a sanctuary instead of the alternative, which again for an alligator is being put down. So we're, we're happy it turned out the way it did for him. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, there you go, good boy. And the wild alligators here have been here for as long as people have been here. Uh, so uh, now a big difference between alligators and crocodiles: crocodiles have eight salt glands in their system. 
can very efficiently osmoregulate and extract salt. Uh, and they, they cry it out, right? Crocodile tears. Uh, there you go. Now, alligators only have two salt glands. They are not tolerant to salt water whatsoever. <laughs> so, uh, historically speaking, we know right across the right across the bay here, Laguna Atascosa Wildlife Refuge, full of fresh water, full of alligators, right? Uh, and historically speaking, big storm, hurricane, something like that, you get some stranded out here, and they'd either pass away or have to find their way all the way back. Uh, now, conveniently enough, since people moved here, that facility right there, and another one farther south on the island, these big old water treatment plants, sitting there pumping out thousands of gallons of fresh water every single day. It's created a massive freshwater ecosystem on the far side of our boardwalk. You can actually see it change. You see all the mangroves right here. As you get to the far side, you start seeing cattails. It's fresh water. Uh, so the alligators have found that fresh water, and now they ain't got to leave. And those water treatment plants are the only reason there's alligators on this island. Oh. All right, now if you've been coming to the Burning Center for a while, you know we became an alligator rescue in 2019. Uh, almost the exclusive reason for that was one alligator in particular. His name was, uh, they crowds named him Banker. He's big, about a 10-foot male. Crowds love this alligator. Uh, he comes set himself up here and along the boardwalk. It was like a scavenger hunt for everyone every day, right? Go walk the boardwalk. Where's Banker at today, right? Go try and find him. Well, one day, Banker decided he wanted to start taking field trips to them condos way back behind y'all. They couldn't figure out why. I'm going to give y'all one guess. Somebody was feeding them. There you go. Somebody was feeding them. He was getting fed over there. So uh, one day, Banker pushed a little too far and climbed on the dock of a city council member. And Banker ain't around here anymore. So uh, he was going to get the bullet, but after a pushback from the community and from us here at the center, we wound up uh, getting a hold of Gator Country. We came down here, rescued him. That's what started our relationship with Gator Country and ultimately what led to us becoming an alligator rescue. Following the presentation, we climbed the stairs for a panoramic view of this sanctuary, the Laguna Madre, which separates South Padre Island from the mainland, and a preview of Sea Turtle Inc. next door, which we'll feature in our next episode. There's some gator hijinks going on down there. Can't tell who likes to be on top. We'll give them some privacy. Many native animal species here depend on these two organizations to protect and rehab them if they've suffered traumas. That's Bubbles, way over there in the corner. She's had her fill of lettuce for today. Pyramids on her shell are something to do with the diet. Oh. What's your name? Oh, you are eating some leaves. He already knows we don't have no lettuce. For more information on the South Padre Island Birding, Nature Center, and Alligator Sanctuary, use this QR code here or check out the links in this video's description. Visiting a beautiful tropical island creates a desire to find a fun waterfront bar and grill. We made a few stops at Lobel Del Mar for beautiful sunsets over the Laguna Madre. They also have great lunch and happy hour deals. In fact, they have plenty of specials for any time of day. You can even cruise over via watercraft and tie up at their dock. So where are we at? Shiner Buck. <laughs> That's the beer. Where's the rest? What's the restaurant? Lobo Del Mar on the bay. Yeah. It's very nice and quiet here today. Yeah. And it's almost happy hour. We're here at Lobo Del Mar Cafe. We had lunch. It was really good. 
and Linda's on a two drink maximum. She's had a beer and she's halfway through a margarita. She's sneezing and pretty much fat. <laughs> but it's good here, food's good. Had a good time. My margarita, because we ended up being here through happy hour, so I had to get a $3 margarita. But I added the rest of my Scheiderbach beer to my margarita because that's the best way to make margaritas, is to add some beer. Here's what's coming up on our next episode. Thanks for hanging out till the end. And if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give that thumbs up a click because that way it'll help other people find this video. And we'd really love it if you'd share it with your friends and family if you found this video helpful. And if you're not yet a subscriber, make sure and hit that button down below. And ring that bell because that way you'll be notified every time we upload something. And make sure to leave a comment. That way you <laughs> could be part of the conversation. Until next time. We'll see you. See ya. ya.